So for this letter, you have to stand behind the rope and get all four feet of the horse inside the trailer. It forms an L. There's a log laying across the middle of this leg of the L. What we've decided to do is go to the far side, back up, down that edge, make the turn at a back. We're then going to pivot on the hindquarters and trot out forward, trotting over the log. And Renee makes the turn comes on through. Our turn now. The ground was much softer than we had anticipated. Jesse actually steps in a hole right here and there were a lot of gophers, but we negotiated the obstacle, made our turn, and did our best to trot out. This obstacle you have to trot over the log without <laughs> clipping it. Whoever clips it gets a letter, or if we both clip it, it's a tie. We were looking for a scary place to do the mounting block exercise, and this uh, weird bridge seemed to fit the bill. There was water flowing underneath it, and it made a pretty loud noise, so here's the mounting block exercise. Both horses seem to do pretty well. We've moved on to the next obstacle. So that's just a little water bottle that had we filled with water. We cut the top off. How many lines is there, Renee? There are five lines. Okay, and we're gonna trot a determined distance, and whoever has the most water after the uh, end of the trot wins. The other person gets a letter. I'm glad there weren't style points given. I couldn't decide whether to post the trot or to sit the trot, and I ended up leaning forward to hold the water out like it was battery acid or something. This bridge provided another scary obstacle. It was over water, it was a narrow, confined space, and it made a noise when you walked on it. And you were going to have to go over it alone. Dusty initially balked at going over the bridge by himself. But eventually he showed his bravery and went over very calmly and quietly. Renee really made this one look easy. And then it was our turn. I could have cut all this out and just showed you her calmly going over the bridge. But one of the things I learned while watching this over and over again as I was editing it is that my technique breaks down out in the field. Jessie didn't want to have anything to do with this bridge. She didn't want to look at it. She didn't want to be near it. She didn't want, certainly didn't want to cross it. This bridge is part of a bicycle path and a bicycle could go over this bridge at any time. They actually have the right of way. Renee is looking through the camera and can't see anything and I had to keep an eye on the path in both directions so I was a bit distracted. When she didn't want to go over, I thought I'd work her back and forth and make that entrance of that bridge look attractive. When that didn't work, I got off, 
and tried to do the sending exercise. Figured if I could get her calmly going over this threshold from the ground, I could easily do it under saddle. We even went out in the middle of the bridge and worked out there. It was about noon time and it was 95 degrees. Here we are, I was sure I had it solved this time. We're ready, we're gonna cross this bridge. Oop, nope, not yet. She needed some more work. What I ended up doing was leading her across the bridge to the other side, getting on her and then using Dusty, who was on the home side of the bridge, as an attraction. She crossed that threshold and finally, after take 26, here's the final project. We even trotted a little. It was nice the way she dropped her head and crossed the bridge. Tried to get some bonus points for side passing. Was it worth it? Too late. <laughs> Renee got one letter for the trailer loading. I got one letter for the bridge crossing. So we ended up even. Wait for round three. <laughs>